All right, hey guys, welcome back to the garage. We've got another easy and simple and very inexpensive fire starter tip. Come right back. So we're back here in the garage, as you can see, got the burner going. I got me some wax melting down here. So we're gonna do another cheap and easy fire starting. I, I like doing these fire starting videos. They're kind of fun for me. I hope they're not boring you guys, but it's just different ways to do this. And this one today is super, super easy. So flip the camera around and we'll check it out. Okay, so we're back here. We've got some simple ingredients, golf wax, a knife, We've got our tongs to get things out of the wax. And today, what are we using? That's right, we're using paint sticks. So what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna make our own fat wood. We're basically gonna get um, paraffin wax. We're gonna boil these in there. Well, not boil it, but you'll, get, you'll see. It looks like it's boiling. Air bubbles start coming out of this and the wax soaks directly into it. You can kind of see that in this stick. If you look how yellow the end of it is, that's where I've been using this thing for a while and the wax is soaked into it. So these make super easy fire starters and guess what? They're free at any home improvement store. So uh, paint sticks are one foot long. So I cut these in four inch strips so they'll easily fit in my pan. And another tip, golf wax. I bought this at Publix. It was $3.99 for a pound. I went to Michael's thinking that it might be cheaper if I bought it in bulk. So I bought some uh, bulk blocks of this and it was more expensive. It, was, it came out to be $5 a pound instead of $4 a pound. So save yourself a little money and just, and I, and I looked online uh, on Amazon for a pound of paraffin wax was $10.99. This is $3.99. So go the cheap way. So in here, I've got about a half pound of wax. So there's still two in here for other stuff. And I may have to throw some more in as it soaks up. Super cheap. So for $3.99 and some free sticks, we're going to make a whole bundle of fire starters. All right. We'll be right, right so back. I needed a little more wax. So I went ahead and just put in the whole pound. If there's extra left over, it's fine. I'll just let it solidify. Just remember when we're doing this, so I said we needed a knife. This was just to cut up the, uh, the wax. And um, just remember low, low temperature heating this stuff up because this is paraffin wax. It is petroleum based. So if you get it too hot or you boil it over, it will catch on fire. So definitely need to be careful with that. Um, but I'm gonna let these chunks go melting here and then we're gonna put in some sticks. Hey everybody, I just wanted to throw in a quick note. It's been a while since I had made these paint stick fire starters, so I forgot I really didn't need that much wax. Um, I really could have got away with a quarter pound, which is just one of the little blocks, because if I showed you the pan right now, there's probably still that much left in there. Those little paint sticks don't absorb that much wax. So if you're doing this, start with a quarter pound of wax and, and kind of work your way from there. Again, it's not a big deal because I'm gonna use that wax for other projects, so no big deal, but just to make it economical for you, uh, which is what I'm trying to do, just start with a quarter pound of wax and you'll be great. All right, back to the video. All right, so we're ready. We got our wax all mixed up here. Now, I wanna show you something that you hopefully can see in the light. This stir stick, you see how the end of that stir stick is translucent? That's because it's been soaking up the wax. So that's what we want to do with our little sticks is to make fire stars. And this thing's so much heavier now because it's absorbed the wax. So basically what we're going to do is just, we're going to plop them in and you'll see, let me see if we can get in here close. You can see this one on the end right here is frothing up. See that? Oh, come on, focus. So it'll, they'll start frothing up around the edges and you want to make sure you're dunking them and they will start bubbling and you want to wait till all those bubbles are pretty much gone 
and then you'll know that they're saturated and you can kind of tell by looking at it so i'm going to put a bunch in here and uh like i said these are cut up in four inch strips so i'm going to put them in here but i don't want too many in here i want enough that they can move around see like those stuck together so i'll separate those and then we're just going to sit here and keep them dunked and i'll be back in a second all right so we're back so i wanted to show you the difference between um so this one's been soaking for a little while not not too long but um so you can you see these i won't get you close so you can see see these bubbles coming out of the wood that's the wax going into the wood so it's soaking in all the pores and when that stops bubbling that's when you kind of know it's ready to take out so anyway just wanted to update you on that and how you kind of know when they're done all right i got all my sticks out here drying they've been soaked full of wax and then i usually just dip them a second time just to kind of cure them but i got to get the rest of these out of here and then we'll go outside and do some scrapings and light one up all right. all right so i've got these and i'm gonna do this a little different so we've got our paint sticks now they're coated in wax i cut this one into a little feather stick now not everybody's gonna light a fire i guarantee i could light this with a ferro rod but let's just say you're camping let's just do a normal let's let's see how fast this catches oh, hell on the truck there oh well but look at that okay <laughs> that obviously has some amazing fire starting potential there and that's just a paint stick coated in wax and it is sleeting out here now but look at that how quickly that takes off anyway this is a really cheap way to make fire starters so these are some home depot paint sticks that just got dipped in paraffin wax so good way to start start your campfire there i think as you can see it's highly flammable all right hope you learned something yeah, the other thing great. about these just wanted a quick side note they are super resistant to wind <laughs> so and that's down in the snow so anyway kind of like the wax uh, fire pucks that I did a special on and also the char uh, wood I mean uh, yeah fat wood these I mean look at that thing go now here's the other one that I had that's been sitting in the snow and it's on fire now too so it's been sitting in the snow getting wet that stuff just lights and stays lit all right, guys, hope you've enjoyed this. It's sleeting here, so I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.